Hello, my name is Caroline. I'm from the UK and it's my pleasure to bring to you this guided soak experience, this creative guided soak experience. Um, we're going to do a colour journey through some of our life experiences and when we're finished um, we'll see the beauty of the brush of God's love in our lives. And uh, yeah, I just want to say this blessing over you as we walk into this together. It's from Romans 15. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Amen. So we're going to do a reflection on uh, God's love um, using colour. And um, you can join along or you can kind of do it later, watch it back later. Um, so there's six different categories in this reflection. Um, so we're going to need uh, uh, six colours. And um, you kind of need the categories before you can uh, choose your colour. So just have a selection in front of you and uh, follow follow along with uh, yeah what what unfolds and you don't need to think too hard about this you need to keep an open mind and just just uh, yeah follow along with what we do so the first category is God's love and uh, just want you to choose a color that depicts God's love for you I feel that God's love is quite soft and gentle. So I think I'll do something warm and gentle, like a soft pink. And just to paint a little blob. For me, God's love isn't invasive. He doesn't push it on you. He doesn't expect anything back from you. It's not conditional kind of just unconditional but it's kind of just always there in the background whenever we need it and we um, often just uh, take what we need and walk away I think God is uh, yeah he, he'll just take whatever he can get from us he, he loves us so much he doesn't mind we've got things on our minds that we can't uh, deal with. So just paint a blob. It doesn't have to be a drawing, it doesn't have to be anything clever. Just kind of something that's there that uh, reminds you of God's love. Mine is pink, but yours might be any other color. And when you've got enough of that down, on the page. We'll move on to the next category. And the next category um, for me is how he sees us. What colour are we? And uh, not in our minds, but if you can take yourself out of that a little bit and think about God, what kind of colour do you think he'd see us as? For me, it's kind of dark, maybe. I don't know, I'm a pastel person, but I don't feel that that's what's seen. I feel that it's something dark, and so it's a bit more kind of purpley than anything else, I guess. And it kind of runs along the bottom. I feel like some days I'm just running along the bottom, trying to get through things. And that's where I end up. And that's the color I feel sometimes, quite dark. okay 
when you've got enough of what you need down the bottom there. Well, you don't have to be down the bottom here. You can be anywhere. You can be anywhere. Then we'll start thinking about another category. And we'll think about some loss or pain. And I'm guessing people have got a lot of loss this year. Lots of things we can't do, but lots of people have lost others, um, which can be really painful. What colour would that be for me? For the dark stuff, and I call it dark stuff in my life, it would have to be really black. And it sometimes stops us like a wall. So I'm going to paint a big kind of mountainous wall here in this dark black. Colour. This is the loss and the pain that I'm carrying. Sometimes we think we can just carry on, put a brave face on and move on, but it can be really hard if there's this big, dark, black, looming thing in our lives. That's tough. That's really hard when you think about those dark things. And if there was forgiveness, if there was forgiveness for some of those things that we carry, what colour would it be? I think, I think mine would be kind of blue. That kind of seeps into that pain. It's not something I can do. Well, I try to do it daily, but it's not something that I make happen. The Holy Spirit makes this happen. And it seeps into that dark place, that dark stuff, and engulfs it. So the colour of forgiveness for me, the colour of something that I can give away, the dark too. It's like a sky blue, it would be a rich sky blue. It's in the darkness but it's also seeping out into my purple, into who I am. And some of that is what I now carry with me, that forgiveness. And the forgiveness uh, that Jesus did for us is in all involved in this kind of stuff. He allowed us to put down the dark and to move on. Which is so good, isn't it? So let's move on to another colour. Let's move on to another category. So in the next category is comfort. What colour comforts you and makes you feel warm inside and a little bit easier in your days, your days, carrying what you carry, being who you are, where you are, what colour comforts you? I think this is a really bright one, but I think it's a soft yellow. I think it's a soft yellow that kind of is very comforting for me lifts me. It's that colour of a candle when it's lit in your room. When you intentionally light a candle, you're making your life a little bit more warm and comforting, aren't you? I always feel really welcomed if someone's lit a candle in a room on a dark night. It's just a really nice, welcoming, comforting sight. Maybe you do that 
Maybe you don't. Maybe you have a different colour that's really comforting. Maybe it's the colour of chocolate, a rich brown. Or... Yep, there's many, many other things that people find comforting. But I think this yellow is bringing some comfort and some, even a little tiny bit of joy into this picture. It's the colour of spring, new beginnings, lovely yellow daffodil. Brings beautiful comfort into our lives. And then the next and final category is victory. What colour is victorious to you? And for me, I think it's got to be the colour of Jesus' blood. Rich red. And just blob it down wherever is meaningful for you. I need some red seeping right into the dark stuff because he has won that. It's his victory that has won over that dark stuff that infiltrated my life and got in the way. So that colour of victory is going right through. And he's looking more victorious in my life now as well. So let's put some victory over that gentleness. This is what Jesus did for de God's gentle, loving presence. He came in victoriously, entered our lives to forever change them into something that is just amazing. And as I'm speaking, I can't do it without smiling because I know that victory in my life. This is what he's done. He's taken something that was deep and dark. Even my early days of the dark purple along the bottom of the page, he's infiltrating that and he's lifting me, carrying me to the top of the page in this victorious red color. That just means he's won. He's king over my life and he's won the battle. He may not be in there every day in my life like I should have him and know that uh, my life runs better when he is there, but he's there at the beginning. He's created me in that victorious way and he's in that dark stuff, lifting me through into that place of forgiveness and out into his comfort and his victory. And that, and so I see the gospel in my life in colour, in glorious colour. And it'll be different for everybody. I don't feel like you have to reproduce this. Just have a moment to think about the colour of God, how he sees us, the colour of our pain and the colour of forgiveness and the colour of his comfort and the victory that is now all over my page. Amen.